So far, this Etsy store has earned more than $31,000 every month. And the strange thing is they just began four months ago doing something simple and passive. So in this video, I'm going to discuss how to build a business like this. And no, you don't need any skills, expertise, or a lot of money to get started since I'll show you every step, including how to produce the artwork and how to utilize all of the tools, all of the tools. So if you watch the full video, you'll have everything you need to start this company by the conclusion. So let's get this party started. Shades of Drops is the name of the company we're talking about here, and you can see that they offer digital backdrops, which are essentially backgrounds that photographers photographers will utilize to overlay their subjects over. Previously, if you were a photographer and wanted to produce an image like this, you had to do it by hand. First, you'll need to purchase the angel wings or rent the location if you can locate one. Even if you find a location, you must pay for transportation and the transportation of all equipment to the set. But thanks to artificial intelligence, you can now attain the same outcomes. You may simply snap a shot of the subject in the studio by utilizing a digital background and with minimum editing abilities overlay the picture to the digital background which is exactly how the store makes over 30 1000 dollars every month the nicest part about this company is that you're selling a digital product so you can get started right away with no or extremely little cost and since you're utilizing ai to produce these photos you can make them right now and sell them in a matter of hours and the amazing part is that the majority of what you'll earn will be pure profit. And from my experience, if you sell on Etsy, your earnings will be about 93, which is great. You'll also note that this store offers its background for between $15 and $18. Now, if you go all the way to the conclusion of the video, I'll provide a simple method that will boost your average order value by $40 to $50. And absolutely, people will eventually pay for it or more. Now, in comparison to other digital items, such as digital planners or t-shirts, this industry is still very unsaturated, which means there isn't a lot of competition. So now is a great moment to get in. Let's get started now. Midjourney will be used to make these photos. Midjourney is a text image generating program that works on SOAR. For those of you who don't know, so all you have to do is join up for Midjourney and Discord, both of which are free. So to begin, go to Midjourney and click on join the beta accept the invitation and you will also need a discord account after that you may add mid-june to your own server to avoid seeing other people's photographs you may now start your own server by clicking on the plus symbol here repeat several steps to create a separate server then go to mid-journey choose one of the beginner rooms then select the mid-journey bot and add it to your own server we're finally ready to start providing mid-journey our prompts so let's start with the previous issue i established ultra-realistic and extra-large white angel wings with real feathers as a digital backdrop in a rustic contemporary palace. E the cinematic lighting, ultra-wide shot are 16 on 9. For, for backgrounds, I normally use this expect ratio. This gives you more real estate to work with. This looks fantastic now. Take a look at it right now. If you're satisfied with the photograph, you may enlarge it and download it. However, if you want a slightly different variant of the photos here, you may either click on Regenerate here, which will refresh all of the images, or click on Refresh here, which will refresh all of the images. If you like a given picture but want a different variety, click on V at the bottom here. If you want a new variant of image 1, for example, you click on Button. And if you haven't heard, Midjourney version 5 has enhanced resolution. As a result, if you request a picture, all four photos created are upscaled by default. And then I can open it in a browser and show you the full size picture. Some folks have informed me that some of the photographs created are hazy even after scaling up. If you have a photograph that isn't as risky as you'd want, you may simply utilize a free AI upscaler, such as Upscale Image. Simply upload your picture, choose four times upscale, and in a few seconds, you'll have your upscaled image ready to download. And because you're selling digital backgrounds to photographers, they don't want to see accelerated or fuzzy photographs. As a result, ensure that your photographs have greater resolutions so that they are easier to edit and work with. And believe me when I say, you don't want to miss this step. Now that you've learned how to make the backgrounds, it's time to make the listing photos that depict how a person might seem on the backdrops. As you can see, these sorts of backgrounds are often utilized for pregnancy or wedding photography. 
You may be wondering where you may obtain these photographs of individuals that I can use from my listing. Yes, you can make these characters in Midjourney as well. Okay, let's return to Midjourney and ask it to create a detailed photograph of a pregnant woman in a long, extravagant white dread in full growth OA white background taken with a high resolution disc or camera in editorial photography style using a telephoto lens with cinematic lighting and ultra wide shot R16 on night. It's great. In all four images, it looks authentic. Maybe there's a bit of a flaw here and there, but it's completely natural. The second one looks pretty nice. Let's stop there for now. So I'm going to pick this one click upscale and then I'll save the picture. Now that we've built the object, the next step is to put it on the background. So the quick and simple solution is to utilize Canva. And the first step is to upload the topic picture and set it on top of the background. When you're finished, click on added picture. Canva also offers a neat function called the background remover, whereas you can simply erase the backdrop with a single click. Now, you can place the subject appropriately on the backdrop and after that's done, you may alter the colors to fit the background. You may go back to edit picture and use the auto adjust tool to automatically alter the color and lighting to match the backdrop. Cool, right. You may also alter the intensity or if you want to be more specific, you can manually modify the contrast, brightness, or highlights to create a gorgeous picture. And I like to tinker with the beginning so the dress merges in beautifully with the floor. Wow, I'm really enjoying it. It seems to be excellent. Once you're satisfied with the picture, you may add text to the center of it for your listing. You may also drag and drop the photos like this if you're selling a set of 10 background. You may place two photographs side by side and make five sets of these images. You can also add a watermark to prevent others from stealing your images. I indicated at the beginning of the video that I'd be offering a strategy to raise your average order value. And if you're selling digital backgrounds like this, just include a customizing option in your offer. You may charge between $30 and $40 to put a customer's picture on a background they buy from you. Yes, you must modify the photos individually for each purchase. However, you are charging a fee for it. And simply look at other merchants that charge at least $35 to add a customer's picture into a backdrop photo. They also charge extra depending on the degree of difficulty. As you can see, there's a need for it and you should take advantage of it. If I were a photographer with a large number of photographs to edit, I would absolutely pay for the service since it speeds up the process. On the other hand, if I was the subject and already had that portrait of myself shot by a photographer, I could simply buy the background for $15 and add another $30. $40 to have the vendor modify the photos for me. And it will undoubtedly be less expensive than hiring a photographer. It's a no-brainer for me. The nice part is that you may add that option at no expense. And now that you've completed the listing photographs, be sure to optimize your listing on Etsy so that it can be found easily. Write your thoughts on this business idea in the comments. Subscribe to the channel and give me the likes and bells to be the first to see new videos about earning money online. See you in the next video.